What's going on guys? Welcome back to iTrust Stream. Today I got five great easy tips that you can use today to help prevent IPTV buffering. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out on a video. And at the end of today, if you have any questions about today's video, go down to the comment section below. I always enjoy reading you guys' comments and helping you guys out in the comment section below. So let me know if you guys need any help with anything else, even if you guys don't have our service. I don't understand why you guys don't have our service. Uh, if you guys do need a service, hit the description below and you'll be able to find out more information on what we use to cut the cord or cable. Let's go ahead and get started. Number one, devices. Devices are very, very important when it comes to cutting the cord from cable. You could literally make or break your IPTV experience based off the device that you have at home. Uh, if you have something that's overseas from China and it has nothing but one gigabyte worth of RAM, has a super low processor, and also it doesn't have like ethernet hookup, if the freaking device is slow in general, you're gonna have a headache of an experience when it comes to cutting the cord. Uh, you're gonna wish that you went back over to cable. And uh, so devices could make or break your, your situation at home. So making sure that your device at home does is uh, up to speed when it comes to certain requirements that IPTV uh, does have. Now, do IPTV requires a lot of speed from either your internet and also your device. So when it comes to your device, make sure you're doing the simple steps at home. Seeing if you have the latest product, the latest product like the Force, the, like the Fire Stick 4K, an awesome device that you can use. And it's also very, very cost effective. So by cutting the cord with the Fire Stick 4K will also uh, make your life a lot better. The Nvidia Shield, the Mi Box, Buzz TV, all these devices at home, and also a lot of smart TVs that are coming out right now are Android based TVs and making sure that your device is up to speed when it comes to firmware updates. So making sure that your device is healthy in a way could help you have a better experience uh, at home. Number two, VPNs. We've had a video before, I'm gonna link it up here above. Uh, VPNs, on or off, uh, it's, it's a huge discussion when it comes to VPNs. A lot of people like to stay protected with VPNs. Uh, my personal preference when it comes to using an active VPN while streaming IPTV is turning the damn thing off. Turn it off, stop. I'm gonna end it right here. Turn the damn thing off because what it's gonna do is I have a 700 download speed. The moment I turn on my IP vanish, no plug intended, but IP vanish, it literally gives me like, it literally sl slowed it down 80%. 80% it's slowing down. Like, I mean, some VPNs might uh, slow you down maybe 50%, but speed device equals no buffering. So a lot of people are concerned uh, not uh, having a VPN on because what the VPN is supposed to do is to change your IP address. Ding, ding, ding. It's changing your IP address. So a lot of IPTV services like our own need to be able to lock on your IP address so it, it doesn't disconnect. Your IP address is what's connecting to the server's panel. So that panel will lock on that if you have two to five devices or whatever de device plan that you have at home, it's locking on with that IP address so it doesn't disconnect. You turn on that VPN, it disconnects, it changes your IP address, it throws the whole IPTV panel off, and what it does is it might give you an error code that says cannot connect to server. Well, that's letting you know that there's some disconnect when it comes to uh, your IP address and connecting to your internet, uh, and then connecting to your IPTV provider. Are they watching when it comes to your stuff? Yes, they are watching, but they're not watching exactly what you're watching. Internet service providers only seeing that you're connecting to a private server. They're not seeing what channel you're watching. A lot of IPTV providers, when you connect, when it comes to the, the link, whatever the channel that they're broadcasting, it's normally some form of, of uh, a mixture of letters and numbers. It's not, not always showing the exact channel that you're watching. They're not looking through your screen saying, are you watching IPTV? No, they're looking at a link. So they look into that link and that link is blocked because you have to have a, some form of passcode. I mean, I could get into, the, I have another video about that. I can get, get into it. But at the end of the day, turn the damn thing off and let's be done with that. Number three, internet. Internet is gonna be a big factor when it comes to cutting the cord. Uh, investing at home, your internet package and your devices is a big deal. So go home and uh, 
you don't have to go home, you can actually go on your phone. You don't have to actually physically be home to call your internet service provider. See if they can bump up your plan, even if it's a few bucks. A couple extra dollars might be far-fetched for a lot of users at home because everyone's trying to save some money. But honestly, if you can just check, check your inter internet service provider, see if you can get something over 100 megabits per second download speed. The reason why I'm saying nothing less than 100 is because your your home might have a bunch of teenagers, bunch, a bunch of people that, you know, watching YouTube, watching freaking TikTok, Instagram. They might be doing a bunch of stuff at home and they might be using a lot of the bandwidth, which could cause uh, uh, your device when you're watching your sports or your movies, your 24 seven streams, whatever you're doing with IPTV, it could be taken away from, uh, it could be taken away some of that download speed. So having a little bit extra, if you have a big home and uh, there's a lot of people using the internet at a certain time, and also depending on what service provider is servicing your home for internet, you might be sharing on a network on your street. So it depends on what company it is, you know, if it's fiber optics, it's, you might be sharing at peak hours. So every service, internet service provider might be different. So make sure to just go ahead, give them a call. The first thing in the morning is the best time to call your internet service provider because not everyone wants to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. So get up, get up early, give them a call and just see if you can bump up the plan just a little bit, just to give you some little bit more internet and you'll thank me later. Number four, IPTV application updates. So a lot of people like to use Smarters, uh, OTT, XEIPTV, GSE, and also there might be some custom apps that your, that your IPTV service might have provided. We have Glitch Extreme, Glitch Pro, and also there's M3U links that you can use for other IPTV uh, application. So you take your M3U link and you can go to like TV Mate or wherever. Making sure that you're on the most current version will also help uh, with buffering and stuff like that because when you open up that application, it's constantly syncing up to the panel and downloading all of the categories. So if your application's out of sync, if your application's out of date a little bit, it could cause it to be a little bit slower. So making sure that you are checking the latest version of your application, even if it's not a custom branded app, even if you're using something that's from the Google Play Store, going into the description and looking at most current version, making sure that you're on the most current version, then you can check that one off the list. And number five, the last tip for today is actually contacting your um, IPTV service. Communication has always been key. Contacting your IPTV service if they have a chat room, an email, or whatever. Sometimes they might have put out statements stating that they are updating or you know what this uh, the servers are being updated as of today. You having peace of mind just being in the loop just a little bit can cause uh, could actually really help you with when it comes to understanding why certain things might be you know having a hiccup that night or you know what I don't understand it was working great yesterday. Just going and checking the email, checking the statements to see if they are having an issue with either updating the, updating their servers or possibly IPTV services always always have a link provider unless they're capturing it themselves. Most likely they're paying a provider to have the links. If that end, if those links coming from their channel provider are having hiccups, the person that's gonna be having the biggest headache is the provider and also the client. So you as the client might be contacting your IPTV provider saying, why we're we having issues with these links, but these links are, ha are, are perfectly fine. Well, most likely the, inter the IPTV services channel provider where they buy the links, they might be having something because those channels get redirected and then hosted on the IPTV's uh, servers and then broadcasted to the client. So if the channel providers having issues, then of course the IPTV provider is gonna have issues broadcasting an issued link. So communication is key. Check in to see if there's uh, any updates from the IPTV uh, provider. And these are some stuff that you can uh, do at home and also just know that 
uh, there's a lot of people. Maybe not every single IPTV provider might contact every single client because there's hundreds of thousands of people. We always let people know uh, when there's gonna be a hiccup or we're gonna do an update or something. There's always an answer for everything. So these are five tips that you can use at home. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Come back Friday. Again, as a reminder, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, brand new videos here on iTrust Stream. So make sure to sit, set that notification bell so you don't ever miss out on the video. As always, this is iTrust Stream. Until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Later.